Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to make a washroom in Oxygen Not Included. And washrooms in Oxygen Not Included are going to allow your dupes to use the bathroom and get a morale boost. So if you want to make a washroom, you have to make sure that it has a toilet, a wash station, no outhouses and no industrial machinery and a maximum size of 64. Now, the one that I have here is a bit big, as you can see, there's a lot of space. It's for future proofing reasons, and we're doing a little bit of experimenting in here. So at first look, it might look a bit odd, but I'll explain why it looks odd in the future of this video. So when it comes to the way I do the bathrooms, I use a septic tank and the septic tank method allows you to have germed food poisoning water that you don't have to clean. And because your dupes are going to be washing their hands, the food poisoning won't go into your base as long as the washroom only has one entrance and one exit. So what I use is I use a pump in the septic tank, goes into a water sieve, and then the water goes into the toilets. And then in this case, it doesn't go into the sink. And I'll tell you why in a second. And then the polluted water comes out of the toilets and goes back into the septic tank. As I said, you don't have to clean the water and your dupes will never be drinking this water or using it for anything else other than the toilet. The reason why I don't have the pumps connected to the wash basin is I wanted to do an experiment where I use hand sanitizers instead of the wash basin. And I wanted to see if it still counts as a washroom and it does. So you can actually use bleach stone and hand sanitizers instead of the wash basin if you don't plug it in. Now. Not many people are going to want to do that, but just for experimentation reasons, I wanted to give it a go. So just to kind of show you what we're doing here, everything that I'm about to do, I'm going to be deleting again and like reloading my save. So this is just to show you how it's done without actually saving it and ruining my entire base by having extra bathrooms for no reason. We're going to put the pump down and then we're going to use liquid pipes to pump the water into a water sieve. Now, I have obviously got loads of room to make a water sieve for my normal one. Here, I'm going to have to just adjust the area a little bit, destroy some blocks, use some sandbox mode. And I wouldn't recommend using sand sandbox mode unless you're making YouTube videos or unless you're trying to experiment. So just use sandbox, sandbox mode when you are actually like just, you know, messing around. But if you're in a normal playthrough, don't use sandbox mode. Try and play the game in quotes properly. It's too easy if you use sandbox mode. I'm only using it because it takes the dupes half an hour to build something. And for a YouTube video, that's not very good, is it? So we're going to connect this to the water sieve. The water sieve is going to use sand to turn the polluted water into normal water for the bathrooms. If normal water is detected by the water sieve, nothing will happen and the water will just pass through. So we're pretty much just putting the pipes into the area and we're going to close this off so that there's only one entrance and one exit. Now we're going to make some lavatories. Lavatories, we're going to put one for every three dupes. In this case, we're just going to put one for demonstration, but I would recommend if you have 12 dupes, you have four labs. And if you have more, obviously in multiples of three. So then you put the wash basin down and you connect these into the input, for the wash basin and for the lav. And when you're making the output to bring the polluted water, the germy water, back into the septic tank. Make sure you go up one to avoid blockage. A lot of people go straight from the output to output. And when it's passing through, when the polluted water is passing through, the pipes get blocked. So always go up one and then towards your septic tank. So we're just going to put these back into the water here, into the septic tank. I'm going to have to make this a bit spaghettified here just for demonstration purposes. Once again, all this is going to be deleted just going to put a bridge here and then we're going to put an event a liquid vent so that the water can go back in to the septic tank so just a little bit of housekeeping here and that should do it and then we're going to plug it in of course the water sieve and the pump need electricity in order to turn on i doubt my dupes are actually going to use this lamp that we're making but at least you can see that it's in theory going to work i think they're going to continue using the one that they're more happy with and the one that has more labs so the water goes through any normal water that goes into the sieve comes straight back out into the toilets and into the wash basins. And any polluted water that goes into the sieve is turned into 
water. Make sure you put the direction towards the exit so that they only use it on the way out. There's no point in washing your hands before going for a piss at the end of the day. But the room is still too big. Now, if you want to make a room that's too big into a smaller room without moving it from the left and right, just put a roof on it. And that roof is going to make things a little bit too tight or not too tight, but a little tighter. And if you just add one or two blocks and then you get to your 64, which is the magic number, make the washroom. You can do just use this for any other uh, buildings and any other rooms in the game. Just be careful for any buildings that are actually quite tall. There's nothing that I can think of that is too tall for the washroom. Maybe the shower if you're adding a shower, but they're not necessary. Now, obviously, I put the hand sanitizer. I'm going to put that to the right. This is not efficient. You're going to have to have the water basin turned off if you're going to use the hand sanitizer method. And hopefully I don't end up with a problem in the future where my bleach stone is all used up and I don't have any hand sanitizers or bleach stone for my spaceships. But we'll come to that problem in the future. I am using sandbox mode for YouTube videos anyway. So maybe I could just put some bleach stone in, you know, just spawn it in a little bit cheekily, you know? So as I said, you want to have one lav every three dupes. So I have four and I have 12 dupes. So it's perfect. And as I said, just make sure you have only one um, entrance and exit and have an airflow tile underneath the door as well so that any farts get sent out of the room and you can deal with those outside of the lab rather than it gathering inside the lab. You could put some like furniture in there as well if you want. You could put some decor just to keep everyone happy, but you don't have to. And same with the showers. If you're putting the showers in, you might get a little bit more of a boost or e-stress but it doesn't really help in any way other than a little bit of a mood boost. The lavatory itself or the washroom itself gives a plus two mood boost, which is great at the beginning of the day. And if you have two times per day for peeing, then it's going to give even more of a longevity to your mood boost. So I'm just going to show you that I actually have water separate from the septic tank that doesn't have any germs. So we have a germified water that's only used for toilets and a non-germ water that's used for plants and drinking. So that way you don't have to worry about cleaning this water that has 800,000 germs. And yeah, as because they're gonna be washing their hands, you're going to end up not having any germs spreading into your base from that septic tank. And I actually recommend keeping the septic tank away from the rest of the base too. Like I have here, it's kind of closed off and it's all the way over next to the toilets rather than anywhere else in the base where they can actually get their hands on it. And kind of similar to real life, wash your hands on the way out of the bathroom and you're gonna get rid of the germs. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of today's video. Let me know if I forgot anything about the lavatories and the washrooms and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta!